Okay, hey, what's up, guys? This is Gudiak. Sorry for the uh, stuffy sounding, but I'm kind of sick. But uh, since I am sick, I had some time to sit at home and do some stuff. So I have a fan here, free wing and runner fan that is way out of balance. And the motor I'm using is a 3674 Leopard 1700 KV. And once you put everything together, it makes a horrible, horrible noise. It's a nasty racket. Um, outside of the plane, if it sounds bad, as soon as you put it in the plane, it's going to sound horrible. So here, what I've already done, I've already gone through and I've balanced. Figured out where the balance point is. That's what all these marks are on here. So you can see, this is my point of reference right there. And then this is where I ended up piling on the weight. So the way that I'm going to do this, what I'll do is I'll first let you hear what it sounds like with no weight, and then kind of go through what it is that I did. So let's get to that part. Okay, so first and foremost, let's hear what it sounds like with no, um, no weight. This is just what it sounds like, all right? Now, this is kind of dangerous to do. Best thing to do is set things up in a way where it's secured and away from you. Um, what I do just for this video so everybody can see it. I get everything set out of the way and then um, I'm holding it in my hand which is not the best thing to do but I've already made sure that everything's okay. I'm barely gonna run it up. It doesn't take much. So I'm gonna run it up just a little bit right above idle. Now you can hear how much noise it's making. It's a lot of vibration. Lots of vibration. So what I actually did was, I went around with different weights, figured out, you know, I went, there's 12 blades here, so there's 12 possible positions for it to balance. What I did was I got a little bit of weight, and I went around to each blade, didn't find a difference, added more weight, kept going around, didn't find a difference, ended up adding more and more weight until I started noticing where the difference was got me down to about three blades where I was noticing the difference. So, I kept adding weight until it got better and better. Then I ended up finding one spot where it was perfect. And this is it right here. So, I'm going to skip ahead just so you can see what happens with all the, the right weight. Okay, so see, you can see how much a big chunk of uh, weight that I added on there. Uh, now I, all I use is little pieces of um, little pieces of electrical tape. It's just electrical tape like this. You can use whatever you want. You can use putty. You can use anything that's going to be a form of weight. I prefer to use tape because it's easy to do, easy to duplicate. Um, but the weight's not going to be used permanently. This is just to find where the balance point is. So let's check this out now so you can see what it sounds like with the uh, with the weight in place. And as you can see, now there's no vibration of any kind. And again, we're not running this up full speed, just running it up a little bit so you can see. But, if you were to run this all the way up, you'd notice that there was no vibration at all. So, that's one part. So let's skip ahead to the next. One other important point. Wear safety glasses. Something to protect your eyes just in case that stuff flies off. Kind of goofy, but these things work. So, anyway. Okay, so here's the second part. So now we know where all the weight is. We know that this is where it balances, right? So what that tells me is that you need to remove material from the opposite side. This side's light, that side's heavy. So the heavy side needs to lose weight. So what we're going to do is take, you can use a ruler, you can use whatever you want or just eyeball it. I'm going to go exactly 180 degrees from that side and remove material from this area. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll mark that area. Make sure to differentiate between the two areas, okay? This is going to be the where you added the weight. This is the light side, and this is the heavy side. So on this one, I'm going to make sure that you can see that it's that. What I'll have to do is um, use a grinder. 
Now there's a couple different grinders you can use. Um, I'm just going to use one of the cheapy ones for now. This is something I just bought. I've actually had a few of these. These are only a couple, like seven, eight dollars from Harbor Freight. Um, I use the little sanding wheel that's up here in this portion. Um, but I just hook this up to a 4S battery and grind it away. So that's what I'm going to do now and then um, we'll show you the final results when I'm done. Okay, so here are the marks. This is the light side. That's the side I'm going to grind. So we'll get busy with that. This this takes a little while. The video is not going to show how long it takes. It could take 20, 30, maybe even more to do this. But um, it's definitely worth it. The, sand the, the fan sounds amazing once you get everything balanced as it should be. Um, I've had a lot of people ask how I do this, so I'm showing how I'm doing it. Hopefully this helps. So let me get the grinder out, and I'll get some grinding, and then um, once it's done, you'll get to here. Okay, so there's a grinder. That's all you use. Um, this is what I use. I mean, you don't have to. You can use whatever you want. That's it. I'm going to get grinding. So again, that's the side that's light. This is the side that's heavy. That's what's going to get removed. Uh, if you want to see what it kind of looks like before I get there, I have a couple others here that I've used on other, other um, balancings wherever you want to put it. Um, the one thing to remember about the free wings, and with any of these that have individual blades like this one does, um, once you put it together and tighten it down, leave it that way. So use Loctite, use whatever you can to hold it in place, and once you tighten it, leave it there. Um, each time that you pull it apart, uh, I'll just show you, these blades are all individual. So each time that you pull it apart, your things move around and when that happens it th throws everything out of whack so best thing to do tighten it down use Loctite and once you get there and you go through this whole process that I'm doing right now this is what it'll look like in the end the spinner's gonna look this way because um, you know that that side's light this side's heavy so this side needs to be uh, uh, ground down so that it'll match this and get you, give you that perfect whoosh sound instead of the the, grind, the grinding sound of the fan rubbing along the housing. So let's get busy with that. I'm going to grind and then I'll get back.